Hi guys, this is Mike, and in this video we're going to be looking at part four of our series on research methods. In particular, we're going to be looking at using the bibliography tool within Logos so we can actually sort and export our citations for our research. So sit back and relax and let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing we're going to do to begin our study today is actually go and let's hide our home screen so we can actually reveal our previous layout that we had from our other videos. Notice in our layout currently we have our first search that we ran uh, from video one on searching. And the next panel in this tile is our note file or our note document from our second video on notes. And we also have our clippings document from our third part on clippings. So in today's fourth part, we're going to be talking about how we can actually store the bibliographical citations in one clean layout or one clean interface that can be exported to the end of our paper or our journal article or whatever we're doing our research for in order that we can properly cite materials that we've been using. And that's going to be through our bibliography tool. So go ahead and go up to the documents menu and the very first option on the top left hand side is called bibliography. So go ahead and click that to open a new bibliography document and let's go ahead and name this bibliography document and uh, we've been naming all of our documents extent of the atonement to reflect our study and I'm going to name this extent of the atonement bibliography. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is set your citation style. Notice that mine is preset to Turabian because I've set Turabian as my default citation style within my program settings. So if you want to do that as well, what we need to do is go up to the tools menu, click on program settings, and in the program settings, we want to set our citation style, our preferred citation style to whatever option you fits you best. So I've set mine to Turabian. So go ahead and close program settings once you've set your preferred citation style. And that will be the citation style that every new bibliography document is automatically set to. Now there are multiple ways that we can actually add uh, resources to our bibliography within Logos. So first way that you can do it is to simply drag and drop resources into it. So notice I've got Millard Erickson's Christian Theology open and selected right now. To add this to our bibliography, all we need to do is click the panel or the tab and drag it over into the tool and drop it in. And notice that this automatically cites uh, Millard Erickson within our bibliography. And notice we can change the citation style to uh, whatever format we like and it automatically changes those entries to the correct entry for that citation style. Notice that now ours is in correct Turabian format for this particular resource. Now we can do this for all of our other resources as well. Now we can drag these one by one into our bibliography tool if we'd like or if you want to drag everything within a panel, notice we've got five different tabs in this panel, hold down the shift key click one of the tabs and you can drag all five over all at once and drop them in. And notice we've got all five of those now listed within our bibliography. So that's pretty easy and pretty cool. One other way that we can actually add things to our bibliography is we can go up to this add button in the top left hand corner and we can add it from a bunch of different options. We can add from all open resources. So all these five open resources, I can just quickly click this and they all get added. I can add them from another bibliography, a selected text, or a clippings document. So we've already got our clippings document. We could just add those in from right there. We can add them from a collection that we've built in Logos, or our clipboard, or our history of open resources. So we've got lots of options that we can simply add to our bibliography. So once we're happy and we've got items added to the bibliography, let's go ahead and click this sort button. So click sort. And that will organize by alphabetical last name of the resource. And notice that I had two entries for Millard Erickson's Christian Theology. Since Logos saw that I had duplicates, it automatically removed the duplicate for me. If for some reason it doesn't automatically remove the duplicate for you, you can also remove entries within your bibliography by clicking the red X when you mouse over that particular entry. Now one other cool thing that you can do within a bibliography document is you can annotate this bibliography. So click on one of the resources in the bibliography document and when you do that you get a text entry panel that drops down below. From here you can actually enter text to annotate or remind yourself why you've added this or what value this resource is contributing to your research. 
So I'm going to add Baptist perspective to this. Because Millard Erickson is offering a Baptist perspective to my overall research. And I can go ahead and lock that in just by clicking on another resource and notice that I now have that text below. So I can do that for any number of these resources. So for GT Shed, I might want to say Reformed. And I'm just going to click that one uh, and not add any additional words. So you can add as much text or as little text to this as you'd like. So that's quickly how you can create a bibliography within Logos. Now, one of the biggest things that you're going to want to do once you've created your bibliography is you're going to want to export this into a Word document or some sort of text editor that you're going to be using to write your paper or your journal article. And to do this, all you need to do is go up to the top left-hand corner in the document panel menu. And from here, you can select Print Export. Notice it, if you're using a Mac, you can also do Command P, or if a PC, you're using Control P. So you can click that or use the keyboard shortcut. And this will open up your Export uh, Document menu. And from here, notice you can see a quick little uh, excerpt of what your bibliography is going to look like. Uh, you can select on the left hand side if you don't want to see this title here extent of the atonement bibliography and if you don't want to see extra text you can click bibliography only and that will remove the title as well as your annotation so that way all your exporting is just the bibliographical information notice on the right hand side over here we've got lots of different options we can save it as a file in its own file or we can send it to a new Microsoft Word document, or we can paste it into an open Microsoft Word document, like your paper that you're working on. You can have it pasted right in. So I'm going to go ahead and click Send to a new document, Microsoft Word. And if you don't have Word open, uh, it'll open a new document for you. And from there, it'll just quickly copy it in automatically. And notice that it's automatically formatted the styling of this to reflect a bibliography. It has the hanging text that you need, uh, as well as has italicized the titles, and everything looks as it should here within our bibliography. Now we can add a title to this if we'd like and reformat this or restyle it however we need to to fit our paper's uh, needs. But that's how you can quickly export and add content to your bibliography uh, right out of Logos with little to no effort at all. So I'm going to go ahead and close my print export uh, window and now I'm back to my original layout with my bibliography just how I left it. So I hope that you found this video helpful today to show you how you can quickly create a bibliography from your research and export that into a text editor like Microsoft Word. So if you found this video helpful, make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below. If you have additional questions or comments or would like to see additional videos, make sure you give me a comment in this video. And if you'd like to see further videos from this series as they're released or know about what's going on with this channel in general, make sure that you subscribe to the channel by clicking the button here. As always, enjoy mining the depths of the scriptures using Logos Bible software. Until next time.